Hello everyone, in this video we're going to see how you can debug your code while writing solution for computer programming problems. So many times you may come across a problem where you have to use some variables. For example, you have to use two variables x and y and they can have values like this initially and then you do something like you do x plus plus, y minus minus. You basically do some operations on x and y. You do some operations. So what you do is you do some operations on x and y to get the answer right and then you see that the answer is not matching so you find out that there's some error in x and y or there's some value which is not supposed to be in x and y so you have to print and find what that value is right so instead of every time printing out x print f x or c out y all you can do is you can use a macro okay so you can use something like this you can say hashtag debug hashtag define deb so this will be a function which you'll be using for debugging or simply printing out the value along with the variable. So you can say C out uh, X and then you can say equal to meaning what the value of that is and then X. Okay. And then you can simply say debug of X or deb of X. So what you're doing is you have variables X and Y and at certain point you want to see what the value of X is. So you can manually calculate and see if the value is matching what it should be or not. So what you can do is you can say debug of x instead of printing it out every time. Let's see how it works. Yeah. So you can see that it's showing me x is equal to 12, right? So instead of writing printf and the whole thing, we can just see debug of x. So suppose I want debug of 5, right? Then what it's going to give me is going to give me what the value of y is at that point. Now, we can make this a little better because you can see that I can debug x, I can debug y, but I cannot print the value of, of x and y together, right? So if I do x and y together, what is it showing? It's showing me an error. Why? Because it's only taking it one input. So let's make it something which will make a, uh, let it have two inputs or multiple inputs. So this is something I learned from Rachid Jan. So courtesy goes to him, the credit goes to him. So the piece of code is like this. So we're using this macro and what it does, it has a template and it has a logger function which logs everything out. So it, it's still going to work on debug, debug of x. So if I use deb of x, so you can copy this template. So now if I say deb of x, it's still showing me x is equal to 12. However, now what I can do is I can say x comma y, debug of x comma y. And it's going to be something like this x comma y is equal to 12 comma 10 so you're getting both of those values together so at any point you can see that okay the x of value is 12 when it should have been 11 and there's a problem or y value is 10 when it should have been 11 and there's a problem something like that okay now this will work for strings as well so suppose i have string a is equal to something ash and then i want to debug x comma y comma a then it will work that as well so if i just see yeah, so you can see that the value of x is 12, the value of y is 10, the value of a is ash. So this will work for characters, integers, and everything else. Now, what if I want, instead of this, what if I want to debug uh, an integer array? Suppose I want to debug an integer array, or suppose I want to debug a vector. So instead of using this, let's go back to our original debug, which was this debug of x. And let's see how we can debug a vector using this macro itself. So I have a vector int and vec and I can say vec dot pushback one, vec dot pushback two and three. Okay. So I'll say three and five. So this is my vector and I want to find the value of vector at a certain position. Then right now I cannot do debug of vec because it's not accepting a vector. So what will I do? I'll do something like this. Okay. So uh, what I have to do is I have to print it, right? So it'll be something like this for int i is equal to zero, i less than vec dot size, i plus plus, c out vec of i with space, right? So this is what I need to do. So instead of this, what I'll do is I'll create a function. So I'll create a function void print. And what it will does is it'll take in a vector and it'll debug that vector meaning print that vector's elements so vector say vec only and then everything i can just copy here or i can just cut here right so now what i can do is i can just say print vec 
and it, it's going to print it right yeah so it prints but you don't want that right you want the vector and you want to use the first the function macro debug deb right so, so what i can do is instead of this here uh, i can just end this and use my print function so print of x so now if i say d of my vector or debug of my vector then you can see that it's going to debug the vector because it's going to use the print function along with that yeah so vec is 135 and we can make it a little more beautiful by adding some square brackets so something like this and something like this yeah and then again i can debug my vector and it's showing me what the vector is now but now again a problem is there now that i'm debugging my vector i cannot use that to debug my integers so for that what you can do is like you can have another function void print and this will just for debugging integers so the out x equal to and then and la x Okay, and then if you use that on uh, integer, then you'll get that. So suppose now I try debug instead of debug of x, I try debug of x. Then, yeah, it's showing me x is equal to twelve, and I don't need this. I'll just need to print this. Yeah, yeah. Because equal to is already there in debug. So it's giving me x is equal to 12. So now you have a debug function which you can use for vectors, which you can use for uh, integers. And then if you write a couple of more, then you can use it for string, uh, characters, and anything. So I can have one for character, I can have one for string. So care, I can have one for string. And after everything, this is the only thing you need to put in your code before writing anything thus debug the debug function and the sprint function and then anytime you say debug of anything whether that variable is a vector array string anything it's gonna print that out in a nice neat and clean fashion and if instead of that if you just want to print the variables and you want to print multiple variables like debug of x comma debug of y comma debug of z then you can write that snippet of code which i've shown earlier taken from Rachid jan's code library so that's it guys, if you have any doubts just put them in the comments, I'll be sure to answer. Thank you.